My name is Don. I own and operate Virtual 360 Images. The following videos are going to be on Adobe Print Shop Elements 11. In this video, we're going to lay one image over the top of the other. Before we can do that, we have to remove the background out of the other one. And this time we're going to work a little bit different. We're working with uh, a green screen or green background. Uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. The image you see on the screen right now is of a library. That's going to be our background. If I come over here and click and bring up our other image, two young ladies. If you'll notice the background is green on all the way around them, also down under her arm on the lower uh, left side. We're going to remove that, make it transparent, and then overlay that onto the library so it looks like they're standing in the library. The first thing you have to do if you're going to make a background transparent, you can change the color in it, but if you want to make it transparent, the first thing you have to do is come over here on the right side where it says background. Double click on the word background. When the gray pop-up over to the right comes up, I always make it say layer 01. A layer will allow you to transparent the background where uh, if it's called background it will not let you transparent, it will not, not let you remove anything. At this point we're going to move over to the tools on the left side, come down three in the right column, hold your mouse over. It's the one that says magic wand Going to click on that. Down at the bottom you can see where you can change that to a brush or you can change it back to a wand. If you've used a brush the last time it'll be the brush symbol up there so just come in and change it. Once I move that over the green area and click once it will outline the background up around their bodies over the top of their heads and around the outside. At that point you can come up to the word edit at the top Come down to cut. And you'll see the background now changed to a gray and white checkerboard. That is the symbol for transparent. Now I come down here to the corner on the left side, lower. Click on there. I've highlighted that area there. Now normally what I do is I come from the old school. Uh, to do a cut, instead of going up to edit, I use the control X. You'll notice now that's turned that to uh, white and gray uh, checkerboard. So that's transparent now also. Now I'm going to go down in the lower left hand corner where it says photo bin. Now I see both my pictures. I'll go up here to the top. I'm going to bring my library in there. Next, I am going to come back down to the bin, hold my mouse over the two young ladies, hold the button down, slide it up, and drop it in the center of the library. Now you can see it's placed that there. You don't see the green background. You see the library in the background. Now, at this point, we move back over to the left side of the toolbar, second one down on the left. It's called Move Tool. Click on that. Now I can adjust this to make this proportionate depending on what I'm working with. I'm going to move this out a little bigger because uh, the image does have their arms chopped off and it looks funny in the picture. But if it was a single person just standing there, that you can move them around, you can make them small. But do it as close as you can as far as being proportioned with your background. Uh, that to me stands out as soon as I see one that somebody has not done it in proportion with the background. You want it to look uh, as flawless as possible. We're going to move it out a little wider. Wider sometimes with people will also uh, make them look a little heavier. So I'm going to bring that down. I'm also going to bring it up a little bit which will stretch them out. Take some of that do I want to say weight away from them. Slide it down just a little bit, about there. 
I think for this uh, exercise, I think this shows uh, what we're trying to do. Down at the bottom of the picture, you'll find the green X. Click on that. And click over to the side of the screen. That's as simple as it can get. At that point, you would go up to Save, Save As, and put the picture where you want it. And I would change the name on it, otherwise it's going to try to reuse and write over the top of one of those that you've already brought in in the, in the bin. That's all there is to uh, turning the background to transparency and super and posing it over another image. The next part is selecting the right image and the right background. Uh, some things to keep in mind. Remember before we could remove the background and make it transparent, we had to change that to a layer because it will not let you uh, transparent a background. At that point, you're done. I hope you've enjoyed this. This didn't take that long. It's, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. Uh, and uh, I hope you learned something from it. And I look forward to uh, working with you with our next video.